Hello and welcome to this video detailing the setup and use of GoCardless with Sage 200. GoCardless is the UK's leading direct debit provider, providing payment services for more than 25,000 businesses. They process over £3 billion worth of transactions with clients ranging from small business right up to household names, including Sage. GoCardless are authorised by the Financial Conduct Authority, or FCA, to provide payment services as an authorised payment institution and serve more businesses than any other direct debit provider. Integrating Sage 200 with GoCardless will enable you to get paid on time every time with automatic payment collection for any Sage 200 invoice, reduce admin with automatic reconciliation of payments including transaction fees, provide customers with a simple hassle-free way to sign up for direct debit, and set up mandates from the invoices you send from Sage 200 and manage those mandates via the GoCardless dashboard. There's no charge from Sage for the integration of this service, but for GoCardless pricing, please browse to gocardless.com slash pricing for more information. To integrate GoCardless with Sage 200, you'll need to use our invoice payments feature. Navigate to Cashbook, Utilities, then Cashbook Settings. Click the Invoice Payments tab, then get started. Enter and confirm the email address used as a point of contact for Sage Invoice Payments, then click Sign Up. Choose Go Cardless from the Payment Provider list and click Connect. Enter the requested information, then click Create Account. As a side note here, the company name and email address ended will be displayed in emails sent to your customers by Go Cardless. Go Cardless has various pricing plans and they will contact you to complete the setup of your account. If you plan to use more than one currency, contact Go Cardless to enable that on your account. We recommend that you set the primary currency in your GoCardless account to be the same as your base currency set in Sage 200. Sterling payments will be collected via BAX and Euro payments will be collected via SEBA. You can send invoices, receive payments and issue direct debit requests both in Sterling and Euro currencies. Payments can only be collected in the currency of the scheme and cannot be converted during collection. Once you've finished, the invoice payment screen will show as connected. You can now close the screen. Once you've connected with GoCardless, you'll need to set up a new bank account in Sage 200 for use with invoice payments. This bank account will be used exclusively for invoice payments and must have an account type of Sage Invoice Payments. You can't use Sage Bank Feeds or our e-banking service with this account. If you intend to send invoices in both Sterling and Euro, then you'll need to set up a bank account for each currency in Sage 200. Navigate to Cashbook, then Utilities, then click Cashbook Settings. On the Invoice Payments tab, select Go Cardless and then click Configure Provider. Click New. When creating a new bank account, enter a code. Add a description to help your colleagues identify it and then select the account currency. Choose the nominal accounts that will be used to represent this bank account on the nominal ledger. This must be a posting account to ensure all of the transactions associated with this bank account are reflected on the nominal ledger correctly. This will be pre-populated with the default bank nominal account, which can be found in the default nominal codes area of the program. If you're using more than one bank account in Sage 200, it's strongly recommended that you create a separate nominal account for each bank account. Choose the bank charges nominal account. Like the bank account nominal account, this is pre-populated with the default code. This is the account that will be used to record your fees received from GoCardless. If this bank account does not use the same currency as your base currency, then you can amend the exchange rate difference code here. Once you've set up invoice payments, you can email your customer an invoice with a pay now button. When your customer clicks the button, they will see the option to pay by direct debit. To send invoices with a pay now button for invoice payments, you'll need to use one of the provided payment layouts or add a pay now button to your own custom invoice layout using Report Designer. You can set these layout to be the default for every customer, or if you just have a small number of customers that pay by direct debit, then you can set the default layout on their customer record. The last step is to upload your customer accounts to the invoice payment service. If a customer record has not been uploaded at the time you print an invoice, the direct debit payment option for GoCardless will not be available for that particular invoice. Once you upload the customer, all subsequent invoices will include the option to pay by direct debit. To upload customers, navigate to Sales Ledger, Utilities, Ledger Setup, then Upload Customers to Invoice Payments. Choose if you want to upload multiple customer accounts or a single account. For multiple customers, you can choose to show a selection of customers by their code or their currency. To show the customers, click Display. 
You can also upload customer accounts by selecting an account from the customer list, then clicking invoice payments, or by amending the customer account and click synchronize customer with invoice payments, which can be found in the payment tab. Uploading the customer account registers the customer deals with the invoice payment service and is used to identify that customer when they first set up a direct debit mandate. The customer details you've entered in Sage 200 are not used to set up the direct debit mandate, as the customer will enter their own details when they set this up. There are a few ways to check which customers have been uploaded to the invoice payment service. From the customer list, you can add the invoice payments column to the list view. Any customer with a synced status in this column have been uploaded. You can see a customer list in the invoice payments portal, and you can see in the customer account in Sage 200. If the synchronized customer with invoice payments setting is ticked, then this customer has been uploaded. A Sage 200 database cannot be linked to more than one GoCardless account. If your customer chooses to pay using GoCardless, the direct debit will be used for this and all future payments. They will not be able to pay by means of another payment provider. Invoices with settlement discounts cannot be processed by invoice payments. If an invoice contains a settlement discount, the Pay Now button will not appear on the invoice. To check whether the invoice includes a settlement discount, open the Delivery and Invoicing tab on the invoice. If any discounts show here, then set these to zero. Prior to raising invoices in the future, you can check the Payment tab on the individual customer account. Again, if discounts show here, set these to zero. If you intend to use GoCardless for a lot of your future customers, then also check the Customer Defaults tab in Sales Ledger Settings. Removing the settlement discount from here will ensure that all future customer accounts are created without a settlement discount in place. Now you've set up the integration, you can start invoicing your direct debit customers. The first step is to print the invoice. This adds it to the direct debit. You can then email it to the customer. The customer receives your invoice, clicks Pay Now, and chooses Direct Debit. They enter some personal and bank information to complete the process. The Direct Debit will usually take two days to be processed, and the customer will receive a confirmation email from GoCardless when this has happened. Once processed, the payment will usually take four days to be collected. The customer will receive an email notification from GoCardless when you initially request the payment, which is when you print the invoice. When you next print an invoice for this customer, the payment is sent automatically to GoCardless. The invoice won't include a Pay Now button, so your customer can't accidentally set this up twice. You can use the invoice payment portal to view customers, view send and check the progress of mandate requests, view invoices and payments, and change your company information. To find this, navigate to Cashbook, Period and Routines, Invoice Payments, then Invoice Payments Portal. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check out our roadmap and YouTube playlist for information on future releases. Links will be added below.